We initially looked at the errors inherent in paper charts and we've recently performed a second audit of electronic charts. What we've done is compare the two and looked at this in the same categories what degree of error reduction could we or have we achieved. I think it's true that almost universally there's been a reduction in all areas uh, in, in uh, the level of error. Some of the errors are immediately reduced to zero and have stayed at that. For example, errors of illegibility are now gone for good. Errors associated with incorrect use of abbreviations, micrograms being able to be confused with milligrams, for example, those errors are now completely gone forever. Errors associated with transcription are a la harder to, of course, to measure, but they, they're no longer present. We've known for some time that there is at least a 7% transcription error every time you rechart a paper chart. We now know, don't rechart paper charts, so that error has gone to zero. Transcription to discharge prescriptions is now automatic, and so there's no errors associated with that. There's also a massive time saving in doing that. Errors associated with transcribing to discharge summaries are now reduced to zero. Some errors have been reduced very substantially, but those are ones that haven't been reduced to zero because there's currently a manual process involved, such as the need to place into the system, for example, uh, an allergy where it's known. The difference, I guess, is that when you place something into a system, it's there for good. So when someone is readmitted, you can be very sure that they will have that already there at the beginning of the admission, at the beginning of the prescribing process, when with the paper-based system it was, of course, associated with, you were presented with a blank chart. So errors have been very substantially reduced. The next thing we need to do, though, is actually not demonstrate reduction in errors but better document the real benefits, the benefits in terms of workflow, the benefits in terms of time saving, and eventually the benefits in cost savings. It's very difficult to assess the cost of an error. The real cost is in the harm to the patient and the harm to the whole community, and we can't measure that. But there are papers looking at the cost of, the physical cost of an error, and that can range anywhere between ten and a half thousand to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. We're reducing errors substantially and we're going to expect that the hospital is going to over time recoup the cost of rolling us out.